Hi, Kevin Henry, the Group Editorial Director for Advanced Star and Dental Products Report, and I'm on a Google Hangout tonight with my good friend and our technology evangelist, Dr. John Flukey. How are you tonight, John? Doing well, Kevin. It's, uh, it's a little windy here in the land of Oz, but uh, I'll, I'll make do with it. Well, make sure you put some rocks in your pockets so you don't fly <laughs> away, okay? <laughs> so, hey, uh, you know, wind, sky, let's talk about the cloud while we're talking about that. And, uh, John, I know... That. You know, as part of our weekly tech tip from you, I know that you're going to talk a couple, uh, tonight about a couple of devices that you found that are uh, regard the cloud and are pretty cool. So tell us about those. Okay. Um, you know, number one, cloud storage is becoming a really big deal. And a lot of dentists now are using off-site backup, you know, either through um, dental supply companies, which are the ones that I advocate for. Um, you know, my local dental supply company, Getsy Dental, offers a you know a, a system where you can you know, back up to their hard drive systems. You know, in the cloud, uh, Henry Schein has one. Uh, you know, Patterson has one. And one of the things I like about those particular systems is that the dental supply companies they have a vested interest in keeping you in business. You know, if you lose data and you can't see patients, they don't sell supplies. And that's really where the bulk of the income of those companies come from is just, you know, the everyday sundry items that dentists use. And so while there are, you know, things that are out there, other kinds of systems like Carbonite and others like that, those are more put together for people, you know, backing up their photos and maybe personal stuff. But when it really comes to your business data, I'm really a bigger advocate of using you know, one of the dental supply companies for one of those off-site backup type things. But now what we're seeing is more and more companies are bringing devices to the market and I don't really know what the buzz phrase is going to be. Right now what I'm hearing from companies is what they're calling personal clouds. Um, that, that may end up being something else at some point in time, but they're basically devices that you plug in uh, to your network they show up literally on the internet and then you connect to them and they're encrypted and, and uh, you have software on your computer that allows you to connect to them remotely so you know just like people are probably familiar with either the Amazon Cloud Drive or Google Drive and you know those are both just you buy storage from Amazon or Google and you can put your stuff on it it's it's safe and secure and all that sort of thing but now companies are coming along with devices like like this one, which I actually have here and is literally plugged into my network. Um, this is the transporter from a company called Drobo. And this device literally has a hard drive in it. And as you can see, because I've got it plugged in, it is connected to my network. And whenever I start my computer up, I actually have a folder on the desktop that is the whatever's stored there. And no matter where I am, as long as I have an internet connection, I can access that. I'm the only one that accesses it. It's not like I have to bounce through their servers or do things like that. I end up connecting to this, you know, directly. And you know, there are uh, systems out there that they sell that you know, will allow you to take more than one of these. You could put one of these in your home and one in your office, and then have them sync across the internet. So it would be a good way to back up data that way. And as we've talked about backups before, I refer to backup as a chain. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, more than one way to back up multiple devices, multiple hard drives, multiple jump drives, um, you know, multiple off-site type systems. And so having something like the transporter that, you know, you can simply plug in and, and have it, you know, back up and connect is a great idea. Um, one of the other ones that I'm really excited about, I just got this thing a couple of days ago and I'm just getting ready to test it is uh, this is a box, heavy duty, not portable obviously, from a company called IOSAFE. And this is actually an IOSAFE device. It's referred to as a NAS or, or a network attached storage device. And that black box has a couple of terabytes of uh, hard drive in it. What's cool about this one is it, it's the same kind of idea. It's a personal cloud that uh, you, know, you connect to wherever you have an internet connection. Um, you can set it up if you have more than one of these you can set it up in your office and at home and once again have them you know mirror each other and back each other up um, the other thing that's cool about the IOSAFE is IOSAFE um, their big thing is data protection and so that box actually is fireproof to 1500 and I believe 50 degrees Fahrenheit for a half hour then you can take that box 
out of that 1500 degree fire, throw it into 10 feet of water, and it doesn't matter whether it's salt water or fresh water, you can leave it there for three days, and the hard drives still have your data on them, which is really phenomenal. So, you know, should you have the worst case scenario of, you know, a flood in your office or a fire in your office or, you know, something like that, IOSAFE drives will survive those kind of things. And the IOSAFE company makes a lot of different uh, pieces of this. You can, you know, buy just basically, you know, fire and waterproof hard drives that you can, you know, connect and back up to. But this network attached attach storage is pretty cool because it creates your own personal cloud. It also, uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it, it will also stream things to you. So you can put your music collection on that box and then stream it to, you know, wherever you are. You can put, you know, your video collection on there if you've got digital video and then you can stream that to yourself wherever you are. So, you know, you're going to go, you're going to go out and do something somewhere. There's no reason to, you know, take all this stuff with you and occupy the hard, hard drive space either on your laptop or, you know, filling up your iPad or, you know, your uh, your Android tablet with this. You can simply open a browser and stream stuff right off of this. So the personal cloud thing is really going to be a big deal. It's in its, uh, you know, starting stage. It started last year, really, and now it's really starting to pick up steam with a lot of different manufacturers. I mean, it sounds really cool. And obviously, like you said, this is just starting to pick up that steam. So tell me what kind of price points we're looking at and, and where some, somebody would get something like this. Um, for the, uh, the IOSAFE device, um, the, uh, the box itself is about 600 bucks, and then you've got to put the hard drives in it. So you know, that varies on you know, what size of hard drives you have. Um, the, uh, the transporter, I believe, is about $300, I think. I'm, let me, I'm going to click here real quick and let you know for sure because you can buy these devices from Amazon and uh, you know there's lots of places you can get these but I like Amazon because it's quick and it's easy and it's you know not not a hard thing to do to sit down to your computer and just click away um, but yeah right now um, this device with two terabytes of storage is going on Amazon for four hundred dollars and uh, the IOSAFE device, like I said, the box itself is about 600 I believe, and then you just add on the hard drives from there. Good stuff, and always, you know, some good information to pass along because, you know, we're going to be getting more and more and more into a cloud-based society, it seems like, which is great because, you know, I know I love to have things in storage and know that they're safe, and, you know, like you said, if I want to take my music with me, I don't have to load up the boom box like I did in the 80s, right? I can right, just have yeah, it. absolutely. <laughs> well, and the other thing, too, about, about this stuff is that, you know, I've had people say to me that, you know, like, it's it's a neat idea, but I don't know that I would want to trust, you know, like, if I have, you know, personal financial data, for instance, I've had people say, I don't know with, you know, what you hear about, you know, things being broken into on the Internet. I mean, heck, you know, Target just released, what, like 75 million customers had their, their data copied or something like that recently. It was over the Christmas uh, holidays. So I've had people say, I don't know that I want to put my personal financial stuff, you know, out there in, you know, something that somebody could break into. Um, the personal cloud thing is kind of cool because it's just yours. And while, you know, there's no way to prove a negative, you can't prove that it, it can't be broken into. Um, I do think that if you're a crook, you're going to be going for the big take. You're going to want to break into something where you can get, you know, thousands of people or millions of people's data and consequently, I, I think it's going to be, you know, a lot less common for the bad guys to be wanting to break into one person's, you know, information when you can steal billions of dollars or, you know, billions of dollars worth of credit card information. I think you'd rather have that than, you know, maybe information on one individual. So there's probably a, a certain degree of safety with that, although I, I certainly don't want to, you know, encourage that. John, some good advice, and, and as always, I want to encourage our viewers to check out John's column every month in Dental Products Report, and then, uh, you know, he and I are doing the tech tips uh, constantly here on uh, Dental Practice Management as well. So, John, as always, man, I really appreciate the time, and uh, thanks for your insight. Hey, anytime, Kevin, anytime. I just want to reemphasize to everybody this whole thing with the cloud and the whole thing with backing up. Backing up is hugely important. Um, I got a call this morning from a dentist that had a crash and, and lost some data and was looking for some advice on getting the data back. So, you know, put as many links in that backup chain as you can, as many ways as you can store that data securely and, and you'll keep it to yourself. Do so. It's really important. Good advice. All right, my friend. Thanks so much. 
Hey, have a great night, Kevin.